Alright, well as I said, I'm going to look into this laptop a little further for you YouTube fans and for my friends at NotebookReview.com. This is the Sager NP2096. Start off by telling, uh, showing you a little bit about the ports and stuff like that. Some general features. <clears throat> okay, we'll start on this side. This is towards the front right here. Uh, these are the three USB ports. They're, I don't know why they're in the front. They shouldn't be. They should be back here or back here, but they are not. Um, it's acceptable, though. I mean, they work fine. This is for if you want uh, external TV tuner, I think. That's what it is. Uh, this is the DVD drive. It's actually pretty quiet, you know, when you're playing DVDs or playing games or anything. If you load data off of it, it's kind of noisy, but... I don't know, all laptop drives are kind of noisy. Uh, this is the power adapter, or the, where you plug the power cable in. Um, and as you can see in the back there, there's the 9 cell battery. This is what it looks like on the side, which doesn't stick out that much really. That's pretty pretty much it. Oh, like just a little bit more than the hinge. Here's, a, here's another view. Here's the top. Here's your bottom view. It's not that bad. Okay, and on this other side, start at the front again. There is the 4-in-1 media card slot. Uh, it's pretty nice. There's the I think express card slot, the Ethernet component. New in this one is the HDMI port. I haven't tried it out. I don't have enough money for uh, HDTV. I spent it all on this laptop. Here is the fan that works pretty good. Um, it's a lot better than the HP DB5T. I did a little uh, scan before, and it's a lot uh, less heat generated. It gets rid of it pretty well, it's even when you're playing data intensive games. Um, here is the dial up, you know, 56K port. Here's the Kensington lock port. Here's some, I'll show you the hinges now. The hinges are pretty tough. They, you know, it takes two hands just to open this thing. You can't. If you try to open it with one hand, you're gonna go like, you're gonna lift it up. You gotta use both fingers, like this. And there you go, it's open now. That's what it looks like. I can't really comment on how nice the screen is. I think it's pretty, pretty awesome, but I've had a pretty crappy monitor for the last couple of years. I can't compare it to the Sony laptops because I don't know the quality of those laptops. So I haven't had one of those either. Okay, it's got this. Pretty nice little uh, fingerprint reader right there. It works pretty good. Uh, I like how it's grooved like this. It works perfectly on your finger. I, it works almost all the time when I do it. I kind of I use my thumb most of the time. It's, not, it's nice that it's a bottom. Most of them have it over here or something like that. You got to use your pointer finger. I prefer using my thumb because it's fatter. Um, these these are the uh, click buttons. They, they're pretty solid. They have this little they have these little lines etched in them, and they're, it's pretty nice looking. It's a big uh, touchpad, but you know you can get used to that. If you're used to maybe a small one, it might be kind of weird. But I, when I am typing, I do run into this problem. Sometimes when I'm typing, my thumb kind of goes onto it like that, and then it, it, the tap to click. But you can disable that. I, I already figured that out. Um, the keyboard is kind is. Pretty basic. Uh, on this one side over here, the function key and the control key are switched, which I do not prefer. But you know, it's only going to really affect you if you're like playing a game or something like that, because you know the control keys in the corner is easy to crouch down in most games with that. Uh, on this side, you can see the uh, directional keys. They're kind of cramped together. They're not as wide as the regular keyboards, which is at times kind of annoying but you know you get used to it the shift keys are also pretty small on this time uh, on this side but most laptops have the small thing like that if you I zoom in here a little bit there are uh, touch sensitive buttons you can push them like this thing pops up on the screen it says uh, wow video and 
you push it a couple more times it goes over and it changes the brightness of the screen just by touching it which is kind of a cool feature just a quick way to do things there's another one if you push this middle one it brings up an audio thing and you can choose between I'll tell you what they say from the left side it says normal speech classic rock and pop and I don't know, it just I haven't tried it really that much but I it's probably a cool feature if you get the hang of it I don't know what this one on the right does yet but that one also goes on to uh, this is a this is the power and the USB charging button they're kind of sleek looking they're decked out in chrome it looks pretty cool with like this blue LED uh, here's the indicators is a power indicator battery indicator and a hard drive writing indicator uh, the Wi-Fi button or the Wi-Fi signal things right here I forgot to show you the Wi-Fi button over there which is a little switch uh, it's it's purple all these other ones are blue they, I mean with the LED light anyway <coughs> oh, this battery also has great battery life I've, I've gotten four hours out of it many times and I haven't even you know I'm probably get some more with Bluetooth turned off and everything but pretty standard is four hours I'd say if you're not playing games or anything like that but even when I played I played a game while it was on and it still lasts pretty long alright here's another test this one is of the keyboard quality which has a little bit of flex on the left side and I'll show you the webcam too start off with the keyboard okay here's the left side you can kinda tell when I push it, it kinda has a little bit of flex see that little just kinda moves a little bit not too bad really on the right side virtually no not that much at all just a little tiny bit but on the left side you can I mean there's definitely a little bit of flex but it ain't too bad not enough to mess up your typing or anything okay this is testing out the webcam and the program that I'm using is a very nice free program I think I might have put it in the notebook forum or the notebook review forums uh, it's called debut debut something I don't know it's just from debut and um, it looks pretty good you know it's really high quality I'll take a picture of it and add it on the end of this but as you can see I'm moving around and stuff and there's not that much glitch you know I can move pretty fast like this or anything it, there's not really that much glitch pretty good it's 2 megapixel too bringing out my nice red lifeguard shirt and uh, I don't know it's pretty it's pretty nice you can use it on MSN and stuff like that really nice <laughs>